What's good, YouTube? It's Big Lake Show Vibes. Game about to start in a couple minutes. We're going to do this one light. Real light. We're not going to go to how we normally go. Today, I just want to talk about the current state. Lake Show. While I'm eating my Wingstop. Got the Wingstop fries right here. Got the mango habanero wings. Ooh. All flats. Anyway. Let's talk about it. Ooh, okay. Lake is up. Um, I think right now we lost to Beantown. You know, they, they had a pretty good squad. Jalen Brown was on fire. But in reality, I think we okay. You know, I think if we had Drummond to start that game, they, they, they wouldn't have got nowhere near all them free dunks that they got. Nowhere near. All right. So that game was whatever. Forget Jalen Brown. Forget the Celtics. Forget them. What is the current state of the Lakers? I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. All right. If you look at what Keith said a couple of weeks ago, Keith said, Do y'all really think that Bron James and AD? Have season ending injuries, you bugging. You bugging. They they chilling. They resting. Can you imagine when the, while, the, while the whole league has been battling this season, most condensed season of all time, our two studs have been resting on the bench? Man. Man. So You have got to feel confident that that product that they're going to bring to the table when they start lacing them up, A1. I think what the bubble showed them is that we could turn it off and turn it back on. Even though we don't think we could. Brian was talking about how he likes to ramp up his body, get it up to a certain level, and just cruise right into the playoffs. But last year, he got to see that his body was just as good, maybe even probably felt a little bit better if he took a little break in the middle of the season. And so, he probably has a lot more confidence in his ability to go from 0 to 100 nigga real quick. Because that whole squad on some real shit right now. We on some real shit. So we got AD and Ron. They good. They resting. They just waiting. And watching the game. Another thing is that you get to watch the game. You get to see where our flaws are. Where we're good at. Without being emotionally invested in it. And so... I mean, that'll also be good for them. Now let's get to the people who plan. We had a whole bunch of new guys come in. Don't tell me that those new guys don't feel like they regulars now. I'm talking about the Trez of the world. The Wesley Matthews, the Marcus Saul, and um, Schroeder. They got to feel like they're part of the squad. You know, it's been one of those kind of seasons where everybody's needed. Not only do they feel like they're part of the squad, they feel like they all had a contribution on this season. So that's the that, that's the macro level. Let's go at the micro level. For Schroeder. This really upped his ability as a playmaker. I really think so. For Wes Matthews, hopefully some resiliency. He's still ain't, we still have to work in progress.
Mark Gasol, at this point, Mark is locked in. Mark is, he's got pride going for him now. He is playing for his career. Every time he plays, he wants you to know, or probably wants you to think that he should be starting. So he's got a whole other vibe going on. And then you got, I think I gave everybody, Shooter, Gasol, oh, and Trez. Yo, Trez, I think what Trez has found out is that it doesn't matter where he's at, he's going to put work in. These guys have all developed their game. I think so. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> not Mark Wesley Matthews and Marcus Gasol have not developed their game. Well, no, no. Marcus Gasol is playing. Mark, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm eating. I'm having fun. I'm relaxing. Near the mark, go to West. Bottom line. End of discussion. Back to business. Then you got our consistent players, right? The, 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 the whole though was from the championship run. Our slashers are slashers and our shooters are shooters. KCP, Ruscio, Keith Morris, shooters. Slashers. THT. THT. <laughs> I was going to say Schroeder, but we already talked about her. Kuz, I'm sorry. THT, Kuz. Kuz and THT had developed similar benefits in that they both expanded outside of scoring. THT in the form of passing, Kuz in the form of rebounding. Which really fits to their to their to their physical skill sets with Kuz being like 6'10 almost. And THT had a point guard size. I mean, would you rather have Russell Westbrook or Chris Paul? Russ does a lot. But Chris Paul does it all. He just does. From a point guard standpoint. And so, all those minutes, I just think, have been useful to our playoff run that will eventually happen. Am I worried about the Nets? No. Why? Why? They may not even play. One, health. Two, we waxed them with the with the with the bums in. Not the bums, you know, I'm cat. I'm cat. We waxed them without Braun and AD. And it really came down to, 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 to matchups why we won. Even before Kyrie got thrown out, we was up. Remember that. Am I worried about the Clippers? Come on. I won't be worried about them. They got to show me. They don't have to show me. I'm not saying that they can't. I'm saying they're going to have to. Otherwise, I'm not respecting it. Mm. Philly, no. Utah, no. Denver, no. Milwaukee, no. Just wait. Just wait. We got less than a month. I think we got about a month. About a month. We make this last push. And we're healthy. Oh, you can go ahead and just go ahead and just take whatever size I have in that last one. Just go ahead and get that to the jeweler again. 
That's about it. Quick cut. No box score today. None of other stuff. Just stay in the culture. We lost to the Celtics. We got Utah. Back to back, I think. AD may not be in this game, but hopefully he's back soon. Until then, it's Big Lake Show Vibes. And I'm out.